Hey guys, it's Chris. From weird bugs to picky mammals to fish you might find under the sea, join us as we reveal animals you shouldn't touch. Number nine, panda ant. Sounds cute, right? When you hear the name panda ant, you might be thinking that's a loose mix of the two creatures that were named a cute, furry little ant. But in fact, you'd be very wrong. This creature is actually a wasp instead of an ant, and you should by no means be touching ants or wasps. These things can really hurt you. The panda ant belongs to the Mutillidae family, which has over 3,000 species of wasps in it. And these wasps have very unique females. First off, they're wingless, hence why some people have called them ants and not wasps. Plus, as you can see, they have a fur coat of sorts, one that's black and white in their coloring, which has led many to refer to it as a panda ant due to its coat. Male panda ants look more like a traditional wasp. However, while these panda ants may look adorable to some, you need to be careful when you're around them. That's because these wasps are known for their incredibly painful sting. This leads to one of their other nicknames, the cow killer. But do they really kill cows? If they sting it a few times, well, maybe. The other reason for their coloring is to serve as a warning, one meant for predators that might try and eat it, and the other probably for you. Number eight, pufferfish. You might know the pufferfish by its reputation, but you might not expect it to look like it does when you first see it. The pufferfish has a face that is surprisingly expressive when it's regular and relaxed. Now, yes, these are the same fish that will inflate themselves to scare off predators, but in its natural form, it's quite appealing. That being said, that inflate maneuver, it can be quite harmful if you're near it. What's more, the pufferfish has a toxin that is feared all over the world. So much so that it's full-on illegal to bring these fish into most of the countries of the world. Why? That's because a lot of people have been hurt by this toxin, and even the smallest amount can harm someone sometimes severely. So unless you go to Japan, you can never eat puffer fish. But given how you've seen their natural faces, you might think twice about that anyway. Regardless, if you were to find one in the oceans of the world, keep your distance and admire from afar. It's much safer that way. And now for number seven, but first, be sure to subscribe if you're new here. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, and let me know if you've ever touched a scary animal in the comments below. Number seven, bears. When it comes to the bear species, there's a lot to admire about them from a look standpoint alone. Grizzly bears look strong yet kind. Polar bears are just a wonder to behold because of their white fur and how they handle the cold tundra they live in. And other bears just seem to want to play and eat honey. Some people have been known to take care of bears in such a way that they form strong bonds, and some are even kept as pets. But these are the exceptions, not the rules. What's more, many of the human bear occasions we mentioned before are because the bears were raised since birth by humans. In the wild, they are in fact wild. What's more, when they are hungry and smell food via a campsite or vehicle, they're not afraid to do whatever they need to in order to get the food. They're even capable of opening car doors via the handles. Bears are smart, and they know how to hunt and kill with extreme precision. And all of this fails to mention the immense speed and strength that a bear has. They're known for ripping and slicing and tearing things apart. It's what they do, and they can do it quite well. As for their speed, they can outrun humans despite their massive bulk. And if you're thinking, well, what about baby bears? They're likely not going to hurt me, right? Well, that's a dangerous path to go on as well. Mother bears are viciously protective of their young. If they even think that someone is a threat to them, they'll rip them to shreds. So whether you see them in their adult or baby form, admire from a distance and don't get too close. Number six, jellyfish. Jellyfish are by and large one of the more transcendent creatures you'll find in the ocean. They often come in a variety of colors, their bodies flow in the water, and you just can't help but stop and marvel at the beauty of their shapes, colors, and forms. Some are even bioluminescent. They glow, adding to their beauty. Some can even be so small that you can cup them in your hands, which many have attempted to do in their underwater travels. But lying just beneath their rather beautiful bodies are a set of items you need to be very aware of and very fearful of their tentacles. Jellyfish stings are painful, and getting too many of them can be dangerous on a whole host of levels. What's more, some of them have toxins that are incredibly dangerous to humans in large doses, and some only in small doses. In the case of the lion's mane jellyfish, they have tentacles that can reach over 100 feet, so you don't even have to be near them for it to get you. 
The box jellyfish is one of the most venomous creatures in the world and have been known to take the lives of nearby swimmers and divers. The point is, if you see a jellyfish in the water near you, make sure you keep an eye on it, but also make sure you start swimming in the opposite direction of it because you may not touch it, but it might be close to touching you. Number five, Loris. If you were to take a look at a loris, especially a slow loris, you wouldn't think for one minute that it would be a threat to you, and yet, they're arguably one of the biggest threats in the world because they have a secret weapon, poison. Loris are in fact the only primate with poison in their systems in the entire world, making them a very unique and deadly threat. How they do this is that they have a gland within their inner arms that secretes the poison. They'll lick it and put it on their fur, and their children's fur, in order to protect them from predators, which can include humans. If this poison interacts with your system through touch or through biting from the loris, it can cause anaphylactic shock and possibly even kill you. Number 4. Bullet Ants Ants are a species that have many different forms, and one of them are perfectly fine to handle and touch and even collect. But one of the major exceptions of this is the bullet ant. Bullet ants are not common all over the world. They typically like to reside in places like rainforests from Nicaragua to the extreme east of Honduras as well as Paraguay. But should you encounter them, you need to be sure that you do not get bitten by them because they have one of the most painful stings in the entire world of animals. They're called bullet ants because the impact of the sting is said to feel like a bullet wound of sorts. The sting doesn't just hurt though, it lasts. Some have described it as waves of burning, throbbing, all-consuming pain that continues unabated for up to 24 hours. If there's a good thing to come from all of this, it's that despite the pain, bullet ants stings and bites don't cause death. will just cause a lot of pain and regret that you ever got bit by one. So if you were to come across one, quickly move away from it and don't give it the chance to bite you. Number 3. Electric Eel The electric eel has not one, but three different organs in its body that can produce an electric charge. When it releases said charge, it can either stun or kill its prey depending on its intent. In fact, it's stated that it has enough of an electric charge to actually kill an adult human instantly in certain cases. This is because it can discharge people with 500 volts of electricity. Though it should be stated that other cases just have it to where the human is stunned so much that they drown in the body of water the electric eel is in. The electric eel only resides in the Amazon River and the Orinoco River in South America, but it's also stated to be one of the deadliest creatures that live in that area because of its electric power. Because its body is long and fluid, you likely won't even notice that the electric eel is near you before it's potentially too late. Either way though, you'll want to be mindful of what's in the waters you're going through, else you'll be in for a nasty shock. Number 2. Poison Dart Frog Frogs themselves aren't known to be poisonous, but the exceptions to this rule, like the poison dart frog, are ones you should be fearful of the most. On the surface, the poison dart frog looks like just another frog, albeit one that is golden yellow. The frog was originally found in Colombia and quickly made a name for itself by killing all that it touches. Because this is a frog species that secretes numerous kinds of poison via its skin, including one of the most dangerous toxins of all, tetrodotoxin. What might surprise you though, is that while humans may not recognize the poison dart frog on sight, its predators most certainly do. The frogs color their body to be a warning sign to predators looking for a meal. The frog and its poison soon became very famous in the regions it resides in to the extent that tribes realized the potency of the poison the frogs had and would kill them to use the toxin on blow dart guns for hunting and other activities. Hence the name poison dart frog, because that's what the poison would be used on. It's said there's enough poison in a poison dart frog to kill 20,000 mice. So be mindful if you see a yellow frog in places like the Amazon rainforest. If you touch it, you might end up dead. Number one, porcupines. There are certain animals that you can look at and go, yeah, I really shouldn't touch that. And the porcupine quite literally tops that list. What many people forget is that the porcupine is a member of the rodent family, but they're most known because of the quills that are littered throughout their body. There are technically two kinds of porcupines. There's the old world version and the new world version. While this may seem like an arbitrary distinction, the two versions do indeed have differences that truly separate them, including their locations. The Old World porcupines live in Southern Europe, Asia, Western and Southern, and most of Africa. They're large, terrestrial, and strictly nocturnal. The New World porcupines are indigenous to North America and Northern South America. 
They live in wooded areas and can climb trees, where some species spend their entire lives. As for the quills that are at their backs in various other areas, they're made of keratin, which is the same thing that nails, hooves, horns, and antlers are made of in various other animals, including us humans. They're a defense mechanism of the highest order, including being up to release upon contact with other animals to cause predators to flee and being able to grow back when they're lost. A rumor was once started that they could launch the quills out of their backs, but this was later disproved. Still, while it might be interesting to admire the porcupine, it would be wise to stay away from them, else get pricked by them. Thanks for watching. Were you surprised by some of the animals that made it onto this list? Do you know of any other animals that look cute but you really shouldn't touch? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time on the channel.